YouTuber and content creator Sophia Idahosa says she got a Christian BBL. A Christian BBL, fellas. Um, wow. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> a Christian BBL. I, I have never heard. <laughs> I have never heard nobody say some shit like this, bro. <laughs> A Christian BBL, fellas. A Christian BBL. This is crazy. So apparently Sophia, I guess she's a content creator. I kind of look, I looked at her Instagram page. She has like 200,000. I don't even know how these, like, I swear, like 304s. They don't like that. <laughs> All they literally have to do is just turn around. They is literally no talent. For a woman to get like a hundred thousand subscribers on Instagram or YouTube, he's really if you see like a girl to say I got this amount of subscribers on Instagram or YouTube, it doesn't mean nothing. <laughs> it don't mean nothing, bro. Because they all they have to do is literally wear some tight fitting clothes and turn around, and that's fifty thousand subscribers. I'm oh, sorry, ten thousand subscribers. All for it. Prove me wrong. Literally, you all you gotta do like in terms of the female athletes now, they literally once they turn eighteen, they don't even have to be eighteen. They literally have their Instagram post one swimsuit or gymnast attire and they get 10,000 uh, 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 Instagram followers right off rip. I'm talking about at 18, 19 already. So, it, it, <laughs> so we have this, the, uh, this female content creator, Sophia Idahosa. She says she got a, a Christian BBL, which just means I'm just going to assume she got a BBL, but I'm uh, going to assume that she's a Christian. So to excuse herself from getting a BBL, she's just going to say, I got a Christian BBL. <laughs> oh, man. OK. Let's see the inf uh the information here. The decision that Sophia made getting a Christian BBL has been met with disapproval from a great number of fans. There were many who did not believe that she required it. Some people, on the other hand, do not enjoy BBLs, despite the fact that you might not agree with every decision that a person makes. You can still show support for them without being judgmental, nasty. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So I guess whoever's running spiritual word is sticking up for her. What the? It is clear to Sophia that there are individuals who. What is is she like like an administrator on this page or something? Why why is there why are they explaining this like <laughs> why are they explaining this like she like the one running this page? And it's like it's almost like I have a I, I've made a decision to uh <laughs> to 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 uh leave my talents to South Beach. Is it, that's what it sounds like. Like what what is, what is this? Oh man. Um well I got the um the spiritual word article up here. It is clear to Sophia that there are individuals. I'm reading from the article. Just, just let you know. I'm, it is clear to Sophia that there are individuals who advocate for natural bat bodies. That you should not do anything to your body is something that they do not believe in. Sophia, on the other hand, is the complete opposite. She was in favor of anything that would improve your appearance, make you feel better, boost your confidence, and simply allow you to delight in life. An, exp an explanation for individuals who are not familiar with the BBL. Oh yeah, yeah. It sounds like I don't know. Is, is she like the administrator on this page? I don't get it. <laughs> the way they 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 stay they they defending her on this like for real the fact that there are individuals who look up to sophia for particular reasons was acknowledged by sophia yeah the way they're 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 writing it they're like it's like <laughs> oh yeah yeah it's like let me see something real quick for you to remember I'm saying this I beg this whole like situation with my surgery and people talking mess to me and stuff like that mind you I'm better now like if you want hate comments if you want to talk your rubbish feel free like my energy is back I'm sleeping well I feel good I'm wearing clothes if you want to talk mess you can't do it but I was just upset when I was fresh out of surgery you sent but like, 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 like. I feel like me getting the surgery has proved to me it has kind of shown me how many people don't really know it's kind of made me realize like people are actually shocked now don't get me wrong I get there's people that are like pro-natural bodies, like don't do anything to yourself, don't give veneers, don't do this one, don't do that one, I understand. I'm not personally that person, like I'm here for anything that makes you look better, feel better, have more confidence, and just enjoy your life. Um, who's she trying to catch? She trying to catch somebody. And I do not want to hear this shit. Uh, I'm, this she, I'm only doing this for myself. Who are you trying to catch? 
<laughs> who you try to catch? Who's she trying to catch at her church? I also get that there are people that look up to me for certain things. I hope there's other things you can find to look up. But if it's that, I should have big back and wide waist. Hold on. <laughs> That's not what I want you to look up to me for. And whatever choices I make in my life, I beg, have your disappointments and make a decision. Do you love me? Yes or no? Genuinely, genuinely, all jokes aside, I can tell that even some of you that were like disappointed, like, why did she have to do this? I hate that she did this. You're still here to support. Just keep hearing excuses, excuses. But why? Why do you got to call it like? Why does she have to call it a uh, Christian BBL? I, I don't just just say you got a BBL. <laughs> why? <laughs> this is crazy, man. Support and honestly, that means a lot to me. I'm being true to myself, and that's not easy. So it feels good. It feels good when I'm accepted and supported and loved and whatever. Okay, let me just check the comments real quick. You all remember when she gained weight because of uh, as a Christian girly, I had to skip over the secular music. I came here from Twitter and I've struggled with my body as well. But what I can say is that from your decision and I'm still contemplating myself, just be sure to guard your eyes. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Look, man, who are you trying to catch? Who are you trying to catch? When I see BB, when I see BBL, it's clear you're trying to catch. I don't know who, who it is you're trying to catch, but you're trying to catch. You're not happy with the ninjas that you're attracting. Who are you trying to catch? It's pretty obvious that's what it is. But let's look at the comments some more. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Um, blah, blah, blah. people use religion and God and be malicious ah but it's just like why put Christian BBL why did did, oh, did she explain it we might not agree with every choice that I make but you know it's not your job what you can really do is just say okay I support this game that's it that is all. I'm not asking for too much. With me being a YouTuber and having this platform, I have so many things on my head, you understand? And there's women that have had this surgery that are keeping it a secret, and I see why, but they've DM'd me. Well, this is true. This is true. There are a lot of your favorite, uh, to any of my Christian listeners, I don't think there's a whole lot of them, <laughs> the way I be going at the conservatives, but if there are any Christian listeners, yes, a lot of your favorite uh, female, even male, <laughs> I was like, let me, let me, let me put it on me real quick. Let me put it on me real quick. Let me put it on me real quick. A lot of your favorite Christian artists, favorite female Christian artists, have gotten BBLs. A lot of your favorite musicians, a lot of your, or even anybody in the normie world, a lot of your favorite song, uh, SZA comes to mind, right? These these people. A lot of your favorite artists have gotten BBLs gotten some kind of sur surgery and i'll say this even to the men a lot of your favorite goat athletes the, the people that you be calling goats they done got face surgery i'm not saying no names new england patriots um let me uh <laughs> some of your favorite male athletes have gotten this surgery because like i said this is america this is how things go man this is how things go in america some of your favorite male celebrities they they're not natural. The ones that this is how this is how you can tell somebody's natural. I'm talking about no drugs, no nothing to help them. If they get super hate in the media, that's how you can tell. Terrell Owens, Allen Iverson. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's few exceptions to the rule. There's few exceptions, but that's how you know they those are people don't want to talk about pure natural athletes, right? Or celebrities that are actually the ones like I'll say the this you there are a lot of good looking women that are natural. There are a lot of naturally handsome looking men that are never going to see the light on TV because they are actually really natural. Most of the stuff that you see on TV is a facade. Most of it, I will say at least ninety nine percent of it, at least ninety nine percent of it. Give you a Cynthia G statistic real quick. <laughs> 
<laughs> at least 99% of it that you see, it's a facade. It's a facade. And I'm being nice by saying it's really 100%, but I'm not. There have been a few. So, okay, let me say that. At least 95%. At least 95%. I'll be very nice. At least 95% of what you see on TV, it's a facade. It's a facade. Meaning the people that you see there are not. I'm talking about especially specifically American media. Most of the people that you look up to done had surgery or some some kind of realignment. BBL is the more popular uh, uh, thing that we have now. It's where big bad bitches can now. <laughs> now they can look different. So they're catching most of the slack. But I will say this to her defense to the Christian BBL lady. She is not the only one. There are a lot of. When, especially in that sector, the uh, the Christian sector, a lot of those women have done have have had uh, BBLs. A lot of them, a lot of your favorite uh, black female uh, um, Christian artists have had BBLs. She's not the only one. So yes, this this is true. This is true. But now what's what's messing up the game is basically like now the normies are getting BBLs. You know, even if they can't afford it, you know, they try to get it. Or you'll have, for example, when you're dealing with, um. I, I don't want to say the name. I don't want to get my. Sh if you have Jewish ladies, right? A lot of Jewish girls or people from that region, right? Um, They'll have no surgery. A lot of them. So a lot of Jewish girls, especially the ones American raised, they'll as soon as they hit 18, they'll have the no surgery. That's another that's another thing that happens out there. I don't know if that's going to get my stream shut down just for saying Jew Jewish, but it, it is what it is on that end. Um, but yeah, she is right on that. But I, I gotta, I don't, I'm trying to look for the excuse where, why does she, why is she calling it a Christian BBL? <laughs> I don't get it. Message me appreciating what I shared. And also this post-op journey has been difficult. There's a lot of misinformation, a lot of misguidance. Like I don't want anyone to go through some of the stuff that I've gone through these last couple of weeks. So I'm not going to shy away from being myself and helping because I have information to share. And as you can see, I take care of myself. Like I take my self care very seriously. I like to have the best nails, the best hair, the best skin, the best clothes. I'm not going to gatekeep anything. Um, I got to find what, what. So I guess, let me see. Where does she, she needs, where, where did, where does she talk? Where does she actually talk about? Like why? Subscribers that are the most shy with leaving a comment. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. Oh, I guess most your... of this is promotion until six weeks. I am wearing a waist trainer and I've been wearing a waist trainer now for like maybe the last two weeks. Yeah. I think I was wearing a softer one two weeks ago and now I've transitioned to like a more sturdy one, but yes, I have amazing content coming up for you guys. And I I said, wow, you guys keep praying for Mule because hey, look. I have such a positive experience. I've been doing so much better recovery wise since going there. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Hopefully I get the answer soon, but I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know why she, why she calls it a Christian BBL. Let me look at the comments. It's, hopefully is that. Let me look at the comments on that end. Let me look at the comments. <laughs> Christian BBL. I've never heard nothing like this before. She says, stop putting God in y'all mess. <laughs> he says, so what a Muslim BBL look like? He said, black women think BBL is a meal ticket. Well, what, what people need to understand, this is a all women. That's not just black women thing. But, um. What women are using BBLs, you know, facial surgery, this is all to put them in the best position to get a man with a man with more money, status, whatever, basically to get a bet uh, to put them in a level where they're, they're not satisfied with the men that they are attracting. So they're trying to attract a different type of man. That's basically the best way I can put it. And do not believe them when they're saying they're getting a BBL for themselves. That is cap. <laughs> that's that's just a lie. Somebody said, girl, did you really say this 13 days before Jesus' birthday? <laughs> Why is she she just just say you got a BBL? Stop. <laughs> I don't know if she did that for um <laughs> He said personally, I prefer women with atheist BBLs. <laughs> a CBL. A CBL. 
<laughs> They're crazy, yo. They're crazy in this comment section. <laughs> the CBL. Oh, man. Somebody said, oh, so the surgeon prayed and took communion before he did it. <laughs> oh, man. He said, Jesus is passing out yams. Won't he do it? <laughs> you see, this is the problem with ninjas, man. We, we don't be taking stuff seriously. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I get to the yams? Sweet, sweet yams. Hopefully, is the comment section still showing? Okay, it still is. <laughs> oh, man. What is wrong with people, bro? He said, Jesus passing out yams. He says, so what they stuff you with? Communion wafers. <laughs> oh, man. And I'll say this. Another thing before I sign off. Before I sign off. Let me let me check back in with you guys. Corey Holcomb alluded to this in his comedy shows. And because uh, people just think his comedy when he like because there's a difference between like his 5150 show and his his comedy shows. And people think there's a big difference. But he'd be dropping little nuggets in his comedy specials. And I remember he made a joke about um basically the abortion the 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 uh when you when you take it when you have an abortion the the fetuses they use leftover matter from the kill to put in bbms <laughs> he made a joke about it like he made a clever joke about it and it was funny but they have done research on like surgeries or bbls and there are people are making the connections between the leftover matter from the fetuses to the material that it's the same some of the same stuff they're using it for bbl stuff and whatnot now or not just bbls but because bbls is really you're just using the fat from your own body and just <laughs> just uh putting it somewhere else but in terms of just surgeries and stuff like that the people have been making connections between that so I, i'm just putting that out there I, i'm just putting it out there it's a cold world 